Hi guys, in this lecture, we want to apply the structured system to create motion graphics from within After Effects. This is the system we have seen in the previous lecture. And I want you to follow along with me. I want you to try it yourself. It's very important before we go to explaining everything about shapes, text, and so on, that you already have some a clue of what we're doing. After that, we are going to use the same system to create a complicated animation that you will do in a very easy and simple way. And you will just start excelling in creating motion graphics within After Effects. Let's start. We said that to start a motion graphics project, you create your first composition. So I will click on create composition over here and we have the composition name. Let's call it first motion graphic. Here you are. Then from the preset in basic, of course, you are going to choose 720 by 25. That's pretty good to make a good video. Leave everything the same and let's put the duration to five seconds. This is writing 500 here. Let's go to the background color and you can choose any good background color. For visibility, for recording, I will choose this color, which is OK. Then we click OK to create your first composition. So that is our first step. The second step is to use the tools to create your graphics. Now, this is the toolbar. We have our selection tool over here. We have our shape tools here and we have our text tool. We are going to use this to create our graphics. Come to the shape layer here. If you click and keep it pressed or you long click, you see that you have choices of what shapes you can create in After Effects. And believe me, they are very powerful. Let's choose a rectangle tool. You come to your composition viewer here. Notice how the mouse pointer has changed to kind of cross. You click and drag and you are creating your first shape. If you want a square, all you have to do is to press shift and now move the mouse up and down. Of course, you press shift, but you don't release the mouse button until you have the right size that you want. I will put it this size. I'm happy with it. Cool. To create a new shape, it is important that you deselect, meaning you haven't selected a layer. To deselect, you press F2 and you have deselect. Notice this is selected. Press F2. Everything is deselected. Let's go back to our shape tool, long click and use the ellipse tool. You come to your comp viewer and click and drag. If you want a perfect circle, you press shift while keeping the mouse still pressed down. Then you can size it the way you want and make it a bit smaller. That will do. Now let's notice what happened in the timeline. When you drew the first rectangle, a shape layer has been created. And inside the shape layer, you can see you have a rectangle one which means you can have rectangle two and three and four. And also another shape layer has been created for the circle. Cool, but shape layer one and shape layer two, I will get confused. Let's rename them. To rename a layer, you select your layer, click on it, press enter on the main keyboard and write, for example, here circle. Then you press enter again to commit. You go to the second shape layer. This is the rectangle, press enter and write rectangle. Press enter to commit. Cool. So now we know which shape is which. This is the circle. This is the rectangle. Fine. These colors are fine, but not so fine. Let's change them. To change the colors of a shape layer, first you select your shape layer and then make sure that you have selected the shape tool. You click on it, for example, and now you can come to the fill and the stroke and change their colors. For example, I will click on the fill color and make it a nice dark blue. If you like, you can do it any color you want. Of course, you can click on the color of the stroke and come and change the color of the stroke and make it a bit, let's keep it white. Let's go now to the circle and change its colors. I will click on circle, make sure you have selected your shape tool, and then you can click on the fill color here. And let's make it a bit darker gray, for example, just to change things around. Cool, and let's keep the stroke white. Now the stroke size is seven. Of course you can come and scrub it down and up, make it any size you like. We're cool with this size. Now let's add some text. To add text, you come to your text tool. You will longer click and you can add either horizontal text, text that's written this way, or vertical text, text where the characters will be on top of each other from up to down. I will choose horizontal type tool. Come to your composition viewer and just click inside. 
the character panel has opened if it did not open and you did not set your workspace you can come to window and check the character panel it will open over here now i will start writing i will write motion graphics to have a new line to write under motion within the same text layer i will press enter within the main keyboard not the numeric keyboard here it is and i will write graphics to exit editing the text just go to your selection tool here click on it and now you have selected the layer you can still come to the character panel over here you click on it you can make your text bigger smaller whatever you like i will undo this you can change the color if you'd like any color you want you can make the spacing in between line bigger or smaller whatever you like now we have all our layers let's notice something else here if you click on the rectangle you notice that you have here a kind of circle with four lines this is called the anchor point is the center of the rotation scale and even of position now it's not practical to have it in the middle of the whole composition you want to put it in the middle of the rectangle for this you can click on it start moving around but the easiest way is to press ctrl alt home on the mac command option home here we are now you notice the center or the anchor point has moved to the middle of the rectangle let's take the circle and do the same i press ctrl and alt and home and for motion graphics you like i will press ctrl alt and home now for motion graphics you could come to paragraph if you change the alignment the anchor point also will move for example if i put it left you notice that the text has moved but actually it's the anchor point that has moved to the left side i will put it in the center good now we want to center all our graphics in the middle of the composition to do that you select all your graphics by creating a lasso all around them that's one way to do it or coming over to the layers and select all of them like we have done before let's go to the align panel here and then we want to align them to composition if you don't have composition here you might have selection that's no problem choose composition and then you align them in the middle that is horizontal alignment and then you can align them vertically and here you are you have them all in the middle of your composition that's very fine we set our graphics that's the second step use the tools to create your graphics now we will animate them and we will do that in the next lecture see you then